when we work on any dotnet application then this is how it works so here on the left hand side i'm having the dotnet application i have created this application either by using the c sharp or the visual basic then if i publish this application or i build the application then i get the intermediate language code this is called as msil or il or the intermediate language code and we generally call this part as development done now after this one we have to work on the deployment to deploy the dotnet application in any environment we have to install some runtimes so here i have installed clr which is common language runtime and once we have the clr then there is a jit compiler that compiler converts this IL code into native machine instructions. Because the OS platform cannot understand the IL code directly, this JIT compiler with the help of CLR converts this IL code to the native machine instructions. So this is a very long flow. And in order to deploy any .NET application, we have to install the CLR. There is one more approach which is called as self-contained. So in that approach, we do not have to install the CLR on the target machine or the virtual machine. Rather, we will publish the application in such a way that will have all the instructions or all the information that is required to run that particular application. The concept is still same. First, we have IL, then we have the application and inside that application, we have everything that is required to deploy that particular application. Now, there is something that has been added recently in .NET 7.0 and it is called as native AOT. AOT means ahead of time. Now, as per this concept, what we can do, we are having this application and once we will publish or build this application, then automatically we will get the native machine instructions and these native machine instructions will work directly on the target machine. So if you are using this approach, then there is no need of CLR. There is no need of Git compiler. And because of this, the startup time of application is super fast. Also, the size, the publish size is also very less. Again, if you will compare both the applications, which is self-contained in the default way or in the AOT way, then you will see that this AOT application will take very less size in memory. Let's understand all these things one by one. Here I'm having the Visual Studio and in this Visual Studio, I'm going to create a new console application. So let's right click on this solution, go to add, choose this new project and here I will use this console. Make sure you are using .NET Core and you are using at least 7.0 version of .NET Core. So let's click on this console app, click on this next button and here I'm writing simple app, click on this next button. Here I'm choosing this .NET 7.0, click on this create button. Let's get one more console application over here in the same solution. So what I'm going to do is click on this add new project again, this console application, the next and here I'm writing AOT app. Click on this next button. Again, I'm using this .NET 7.0. Click on this create button and you will notice we are having two console applications. There is no difference in between them. Just we have a separate name. If you are having this AOT in the name, this doesn't mean that this is AOT application. No. Let's remove this entire code and let's paste some new code over here. So this is what I have as of now. What I have is, I have two methods over here. First is this main method. Then second is this random string method. This random string method will create some random string based on this particular length. So we are using simple link you over here and we are using this random dot next method. Okay. Then we are having this main method and in this main method, I'm using this stopwatch here. I'm starting it and this is the max length. Then basically I'm having a list. There are a couple of values over here and I'm basically creating a loop over here and based on the value of this loop, let's say if it is 10, then I'm creating 10 strings over here. Okay. So basically I'm writing all these values in a file and this file is available at this my documents. If I open my this folder explorer and go to this documents over here, you will see we do not have any kind of file. Now let's run this application and let's see what we have. Remember the initial value is this 10. Here you will notice that this application took 60 milliseconds to write the code in that particular file. Okay, let's close it. And if I go to the my documents here, you will see we are having this right line file. And inside this one, we are having a couple of lines. Okay. Let's just delete this particular file because I want to create one more over here. And this time I will just increase the value to let's say this particular number run this application again and this time you will see it will take some extra time and which is 99 milliseconds this is obvious and the understanding is not about this particular code so basically you can have any kind of operation in your application the concept is in the compilation and in the deployment 
what will happen if I will publish this application so let's just right click over here and choose this publish option over here we have to create a new publish profile so I want to publish in this folder click on this next button this is the folder that I'm using click on the next and this is the default path that I have okay let's click on this finish button it has been created now I will close so to publish it we have to make a couple of changes over here so these are all settings so here what I'm having is I'm having this release I'm having this target framework .NET 7.0 and this is the deployment mode which is framework dependent it means if I'm using this kind of approach then I have to install CLR and this is the common thing that we always do but here I'm interested in this self-contained okay let's click on this produce single file as well because this will create only one single exe and we can use that exe and we can run it anywhere without installing any kind of CLR and here let's use this target runtime as well so this is 64 bit okay let's save everything over here and let's click on this publish button you can perform all these things by using the dotnet cli as well you can create your console application by using the dotnet cli you can also publish it by using the dotnet cli we will also see how to publish the application by using the command line tool in just a bit so let's click on this open folder and here you will notice you are getting this exe and the size is 65 mb this pdb is for the debug purpose so let's just copy it and i have already created one virtual machine over here this is a brand new virtual machine i have not installed anything on this virtual machine and let's just paste it over here remember i have not installed any kind of runtime on this virtual machine what i'm doing is i'm simply creating the application and i'm just publishing it as a self-contained and you will see over here that we can run this application without installing the clr let's just double click on this simple app you will notice the time taken was 95 okay and uh, if I open this file explorer and go to this document you will see we are having this same file and we are having all the lines over here so this is working fine as expected but did you notice the size the size is 65 MB perfect now let's talk about the native AOT concept to work with the native AOT concept you have to make couple of changes so I will make all those changes over here in this EOT application so first is that I will copy this entire code and paste it over here in this program.cs file first change is that I need to open the CS pros file which is this one and over here I need to add a new property which is publish EOT and let's put the value to as true like this so that's the first change if you are having this change it means this application will be published as the AOT application the second is that you have to use visual studio 2022 and you need to install the c++ packages for the development although we are not working on the c++ but this native concept needs something that is available in this c++ package this is the package that you have to choose while installing the visual studio if you do not have it in your visual studio then you can always update it this installation will take a couple of minutes but once it will be done then you can work on the aot okay so this time let's publish this application and let's see what is the difference so here i'm right clicking on this aot application and click on this publish button let's choose this folder next so here i'm creating again a profile so that's the profile finish close okay so all settings so here i'm using this again self-contained and i'm using this 64 perfect here i'm using this produce single file again i need this single file and this is the release version this is the dotnet 7.0 okay just save it and this time either i can click on this publish button or i can also use the dotnet cli so let's open the command prompt over here for this application there are two ways for that I just right click on this one and choose this open in terminal or you can also open it in the file explorer and then you can run this command this is the command that i have to use what i'm doing is i'm using this dotnet publish r win 64 basically i'm defining it only for the 64 bit version of windows and then it is in the release mode let's hit the enter button and over here you will see in the output window that we are having generating native code so this is generating native code this will take some time based on the size of your application and it is done okay to see the code let's just right click on this aot application and click on this open file explorer we have this bin then we have this release and this is the dotnet 7.0 and this is the target machine that we have set up here you will notice you are having this native okay and this is the exe just notice what is the size of this exe it is only 3 mb let's just copy it and go back to this virtual machine and let's just paste it 
we are having the same application over here with two different deployment method this is the default one and this is with the aot the size of this default is 65 mb and the size of this aot application is only 3 mb so let's just open the file explorer over here and go to this documents and remove this file as well from here perfect let's just run this application the aot application and here you will notice the time taken is 68 milliseconds if you remember the time taken by this simple application was more than 90 milliseconds but here it is only 68 milliseconds so it means the startup time is fast the execution is fast and the size of the application is also fast let's quickly have a look on the file so here you will notice that we have the file and we have everything over here let's run both of them actually over here here you will notice the time is 93 seconds if you will open the task manager and want to see how much memory is taken by both the applications then you will see this EOT application is taking 19.5 MB and this simple application is taking 26.0 MB. So it means this EOT application is much better and much faster as compared to this simple application. There are a couple of limitations as well while working with this native EOT. This native EOT is supported only in the .NET 7.0 as of now and it is supported only for the console applications. If you are working on ESP.NET Core frameworks for web applications and for other, then it will not be supported as of now over there. But in upcoming releases of .NET framework, you will notice that this AOT will be supported by almost all the applications, all the frameworks from the Microsoft. So this is a very important concept and you can try it and you can see how it is working and you can definitely plan your work as per this new native AOT concept. Let me know your feedback in the comment section below whether you like it or you think this is going to be a great feature or not. In my opinion, this is one of the best features that has been added in .NET because this will change the performance and deployment of .NET anywhere. That is all in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.